please, I need your help, a Nigerian. Well, excellent question. Yeah, so the fathers of the church um, talk about specifically the temptation to lust and uh, kind of all of the temptations connected to that in terms of, of a military general. And so they say, well, what does a wise military general do when they are up against a more powerful force? And they talk about uh, specifically um, temptations to lust, but then also um, gluttony can fall into that or anger can also be in this category. Um, that, you know what, the, the urge towards those can be so powerful that especially for a person who's kind of caught in those sins, um, it's better not to fight head on. Just like a wise general who has the weaker army would never go into open battle with a more powerful uh, general. What you do is you, you essentially flee the situation and you try to train your troops um, in, in safe situations or perhaps where there are little tiny battles that you can, you know, you can have little skirmishes here and there, but you never go into open warfare with the general in, if the other general is more powerful. Um, and so to apply that specifically to uh, sins of lust, the first thing to do is to really cut out the images. Um, absolutely, you can remove the possibility of looking at those things. Sometimes it means, um, you know, downloading a, some sort of a blocker onto whatever device you're watching those on. Uh, sometimes it means, you know, if you've got them in your house, taking them all and throwing them, make, making a big bonfire in your backyard and throwing them into the fire and just burning it all. Um, and then, you know, if it's the sort of thing where, well, no, I, you know, I, I passed by the place on my way home from work, well then come up with a different path to, to go home, you know, stop by the church instead, <laughs> something of that sort. Um, essentially it's, it's keeping yourself away from the near occasion of sin. Um, and so the ability to access those videos is the near occasion of sin. And so uh, you just cut it out completely. You, you get yourself away from it. Um, you know, it, we really deal with it very similarly to you, to how you deal with an alcoholic, right? You know, if an alcoholic says, yeah, I'm really fighting against alcoholism, um, but you know, just every time I walk by my liquor cabinet, I fall. You think, well, why do you have a liquor cabinet? You know, why, why are you giving yourself access to this? Um, it's the same thing with um, images of yeah, impure images and things of the sort that if you if you're struggling with that, absolutely make it so that you cannot access it. Um, and I've worked with people that gone so far as to uh, completely get rid of internet access in their home or um, you know get get rid of data on their cell or even remove uh, the browser on their cell so that really I mean, their phone it can, you know, just do the very basic things because, um, yeah, that's just what they needed to do. Uh, and it works, you know, you just have to completely, you keep cutting away. In the gospel, you know, there's the image that Christ uses of if, uh, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. And um, I forget which of the gospels uh, that, that, that turn of phrase is used. It's, it's recounted, I think, in both Matthew and Luke. Um, and I can't remember which of the two it is, but one of them, it, it's preceded immediately by um, an admonition against um, adultery in the heart or, you know, impure thoughts. And so it's, it's very clear when it's referring to cutting your hand off if it causes you to sin and plucking your eye out if it causes you to sin. Like that's, like we, we can all do the math on what it's talking about. Um, now, obviously that's not meant to be interpreted um, literally. Uh, don't, don't actually cut your hand off or pluck your eye out. But whatever it is that is causing you to sin, it's worth it to, to cut it out completely. Just get rid of it. Um, and then once that is away, oftentimes uh, a person is able to battle within their own mind um, to get those thoughts out. And the good things to do there are, first off, really look at the, the natural causes um, for like increased libido. And so uh, things like making sure that you, you have regular exercise or in, in your job that you have some sort of uh, regular physical activity, um, then also looking at your your diet, making sure that you're eating in a in a healthy way, and you have a regular diet that it's more or less the same every day, um, and then uh, on top of that, uh, obviously prayer is the the most important thing. Really turning to the Blessed Mother, uh, to your guardian angel, Saint Michael the Archangel, uh, and then the the big 
um, patrons for purity are St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Joseph, our two great intercessors in that area. So really turn to them and pray for, uh, pray for protection in that area. And whenever you do fall, get right to confession. Go to confession, receive our Lord's forgiveness, pick yourself back up and keep fighting. Uh, it, takes, it takes a lot to, to get out of an addiction to those types of sins. Um, and so the key is that you keep fighting. Do not be discouraged, just, just keep going. Uh, you know, I think it's, it's encouraging that Jesus Christ fell three times while he was carrying the cross. You know, <laughs> he's God and he fell three times. And so who are we to think that we won't fall many times in, in carrying our own cross? But the key is that Jesus Christ got up every single time. And that's why he was able to, to reach, to get to the resurrection. And so we too, just whenever we do fall, we have to go right to confession. Allow Jesus Christ to pick, our, pick us back up and, and keep fighting. You know, Jesus Christ has already won the war. It doesn't matter how many battles we lose, as long as we keep fighting on his side, always return to confession whenever we do fall. Uh, you know, we've, we've won the war because we're on, on the, the side of the, the winning general. So keep it up, and I'll definitely be praying for you. All right. Rosa de la